Okay, so I've been reading some verse novels and I'm kind of late to the party on this one. But um, recently my school have signed up for the Book Pen Pals scheme and we've been paired with the author Lucy Cuthew, um, uh, who, who's written a verse novel. And she recommended to us Long Way Down um, as our first recommendation by Jason Reynolds. And it is a stunning read. It's own voices um, and it's about a young black teenager struggling to cope with his brother's death. He feels like he has to avenge his brother's death so he takes a gun um, and he goes out to try and kill the person that he thinks shot his brother. And as he goes down in the lift he meets um, several ghosts um, and they're all people who died due to shooting violence um, in the black community. Um, and the novel is just so powerful in conveying that cycle of revenge um, and hope for the future in how that cycle can be broken. And I think, um, as Lucy wrote on her postcard to us, as the Black Lives Matter movement has had so much uh, media attention in recent months, um, it is an ideal read for um, students who want to get to grips with why Black Lives Matter um, is such a big deal and um, how the movement has been gathering momentum, not just um, in recent months, but actually for several years now. Um, so um, I gave that book to some of my year nines and they seem to be really enjoying it so far. So um, yeah, thanks Lucy, that was an amazing recommendation. But I want to talk a bit about um, Lucy's own novel, uh, Blood Moon. Um, and I had heard about this via Twitter because um, I had been taking part in a couple of conversations about verse novels and um, really wanting to find out more myself. And um, Lucy's uh, book was recommended to me, so I was really excited when I got my hands on a copy. And I have to say this is a, a breathtaking read, completely immersive and completely relevant, particularly for young women today. The, the book really speaks into the kind of social media shame culture, but specifically drills down to the issue of period taboo. Um, and it is crazy when you think about it, um, how taboo it is um, that, that women menstruate. And I've, I've been reading a couple of things recently, a couple of movements trying to break um, the shame of you know period poverty, for example. Um, and perhaps um, another movement was getting dads more involved in um, helping their daughters in puberty and, and through periods. Um, and I just think this is a really important book. Um, and I was I was really blown away by it. This, the main story is about a girl called Frankie, her troubled friendship with Harriet um, and her sort of first boyfriend, Benjamin. It is brilliantly drawn. Um, I love the astronomical theme that goes through it with um, the blood moon being really symbolic at the end, um, but also the protagonist's um, love of astronomy and photography and... Uh, looking at the stars and that reminder that there's this bigger universe outside the world of social media perhaps that um, draws us in and sucks us in. But I also think this book is really helpful for parents, particularly thinking about the, the pressures that teenagers are under. Um, perhaps we can be a bit out of touch as parents and we don't really know what kind of struggles our kids are facing. So I just think all round this is a really a stellar read. Um, so I'm so glad to be paired with, with Lucy um, and I can't wait to, to read whatever she brings out next. If you love reading YA novels and you want to hear more of my vlog reviews, please hit subscribe and then you won't miss out.